In today's funny story joke, we dive into the world of comedy with a hilarious tale of a new blonde flight attendant on his first overnight trip. This funny incident blends the best elements of storytelling and jokes to deliver pure comedic gold. Join us as we unravel a comedy of errors where confusion meets hilarity and one rookie's mishap turns into a legendary tale among his crew. Now, sit back, relax, and enjoy this funny story joke guaranteed to bring a smile to your face. It was a crisp autumn afternoon when Captain Jake Anderson welcomed his newest recruit, Sam, a fresh-faced blonde flight attendant with the enthusiasm of a Labrador puppy, into the bustling world of commercial aviation. Sam practically radiated excitement, like a human energy drink with wings. Now, Captain Anderson was no stranger to the skies. He'd flown through thunderstorms, navigated Bermuda Triangle turbulence, and once even outwitted a rogue seagull dead set on stealing his in-flight peanuts. But mentoring Sam? That was a whole new altitude. Their first overnight trip together took them to a charming city known for its vibrant culture and welcoming locals. Captain Anderson decided to give Sam the grand tour. They strolled through lively streets, the captain pointing out the best places for airline personnel to eat, shop, and stay overnight. Sam listened attentively, nodding as if he were committing every detail to memory. At a quaint bistro, they sat down for a meal. Sam ordered a salad, and Captain Anderson, a man who believed in hearty aviation-sized portions, went for the triple-decker burger. Over coffee, Captain Anderson shared war stories from his flying days. Once, he said, leaning in conspiratorially, I had to land blindfolded because the cockpit cup holder malfunctioned. Sam's eyes widened. Really? No. Captain Anderson chuckled. But it got your attention, didn't it? Next, they explored hidden gems, the kind of places tourists never found. They discovered an underground jazz club where the saxophonist moonlighted as an air traffic controller. The music was so smooth that even turbulence would have tapped its foot. As evening settled in, they reached their hotel, a cozy establishment with a lobby that screamed, welcome weary travelers. Plush sofas beckoned and a fireplace crackled, casting shadows on the walls. Captain Anderson pointed out the key features, the elevator, which occasionally sang elevator music, the ice machine, which had a PhD in cubology, and the vending machine, which dispensed wisdom along with Snickers bars. Hold on to your hotel key cards, because this funny story joke isn't over just yet. Get a good night's sleep, Sam, Captain Anderson advised, his warm smile reassuring. We have an early start tomorrow. But the next morning, at the crew briefing, Captain Anderson realized something was amiss. Sam was missing. Panic fluttered in the captain's chest. He dialed Sam's room number. Sam, where are you? We need to start the briefing. I, I can't get out of my room. Sam's voice crackled through the phone. Captain Anderson frowned. You can't get out? Why not? There are only three doors in here. Sam groaned. One leads to the bathroom, one to the closet, and one has a sign that says, do not disturb. Sam, that last one is the emergency exit. Take that one. <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.